Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Clark, Scooter from Replant, and this is just a quick video for first year planters to give you a bit of background on what a day bag is and why it's important. Every day when you go out to the blocks, you're going to have your planting gear, but you're also going to have a, a bag, we call it the day bag, which you take all the other critical supplies that you'll need during the day or that might come in handy. Okay, so this one's a fairly big one, 65 liter. I got this one from uh, Canadian Tire. It's waterproof. That's a nice bonus. Uh, if you're working on the coast or working in northern Alberta, you'll get uh, some periods of pretty heavy rain. And it'll be nice if your, uh, your pack stays uh, dry inside. Otherwise, all your stuff inside gets kind of wet. Um, Canadian Tire, this one, they've got a couple different sizes. They're all this red color. Obviously, you wouldn't want everybody in camp to have the same color bag. It'd be a little bit hard to tell them apart. Mountain Equipment Co-op sells uh, bags a little bit different than this, probably a little bit better. And uh, they're kind of variable sizes. Like, you can, uh, when you close it, if it's not full, you can kind of roll it up and compress it into a smaller space. That's a bit handy. And the nice thing about those mech hand uh, dry bags is that they, uh, is that they, they come in different colors. Like, I've seen red, yellow, green, uh, black, blue, so, anyway, a little easier for people to tell them apart. So anyway, this is my uh, day bag, and I'm just going to show you what I have in it right now. Uh, I'm not planting them at home right now, but uh, this will give you most of the uh, idea. I've got my raincoat. I've got a pair of rain pants. So, I mean, I'll wear those out to the block if the weather's expected to be good, but it's good to have them just in case. I've got my hard hat because on some planting contracts, especially coastal contracts, you'll need to wear a hard hat. I've got some high vis gear. Um, I have this vest, or this whatever you call it, that I put on over a raincoat. But quite often, if it's nice weather, instead I'll wear this. Now you don't have to wear high vis on a lot of contracts. Again, this is just something that happens on a couple of the coastal contracts. Um, I have some toilet paper, which is in a Ziploc baggie to keep it dry. You can never have too much uh, protection from the, from the moisture when you're talking about toilet paper. And it's often good to carry a second one of these in your planting bags, in the back bag, again in a Ziploc. Um, I've got an extra t-shirt, just in case. Uh, sometimes I'll carry an extra pair of socks. Uh, dry socks are nice. I've got a hat. Sometimes I'll wear this hat when I'm planting instead of a toque. I've got some pairs of gloves. Uh, I've got different, different thicknesses of gloves. These blue ones are pretty good. I usually, I usually use these more when I'm formatting. Um, I like these light ones. This is a High Flex Foam Ansel 10 11-800 CE. Um, definitely good, good things to wear when you're planting. Uh, I have some suntan lotion, sunblock, which again is in a Ziploc bag because when you throw this bag in the back of the truck, sometimes it'll squish. Your sunscreen squirts out all over the place, so you want to keep it in this so it's not all over your lunch. Speaking of lunch, I don't have my lunch in this bag because I'm not planting, but I do have... <laughs> I have some emergency supplies of granola bars and whatnot, just in case. Um, I have a roll of duct tape. Uh, in Alberta, sometimes I'll duct tape my fingers when I'm planting, although I've kind of become more accustomed to the gloves. It's a little bit easier. But the, uh, the duct, tape, duct tape does give you a lot of flexibility. More importantly, I use duct tape uh, when I'm wearing loose boots like corks or big rubber boots. I'll go and uh, I'll tape around the base of my sock, and that way they don't fall down inside your boots. The top may fall down to your ankle, so so that's that doesn't feel as uncomfortable though as, as the rest of the sock falling down. So if you put it around the tightest part of your, your leg, which is down at the base here, that works better than trying to tape up the top, because if you tape up the top, they still just slide down. So anyway, duct tape, always handy on the block. I got some bug spray. Haven't had to use that on the coast. I've got this, <laughs> most people won't carry this. This is a, for heavy, heavy rain conditions, this can hook into the back of your hard hat, and then you can kind of wear it like this, keep the rain off the back of your neck. I thought I'd try it out. Um, I've got a little waterproof container here. 
with some antihistamines in case I have an allergic reaction to anything. I've got some Advil in there. I have some rolls of flagging tape. I have a knife in case I need to cut open packs of coning supplies, packs of steaks, I don't know, cut box ends off a box, whatever. I have a waterproof case for a camera. Um, often I'll put a small camera and a cell phone in this. Again, this is good in case somebody drives over your bag with a truck or something, you leave it in a bad place. This will keep your cell phone and your camera from being squished. And some more duct tape. And finally, I have a whole bunch of small water bottles. They're all Gatorade bottles. And uh, what I'll often do is I'll, I'll buy a one liter juice container, spread it out between five bottles, so it's about 40% full of each one of these bottles, and then I'll top them up with water. When you're out on the block, some types of juice, you don't want to be drinking straight juice all day. It's just it's too sweet, it's too much. So diluting it with water helps a lot. I'll also take some of these with just plain water, and uh, it's pretty handy. I mean, I can throw one of these into my, into my planting bags when I'm about to go out on a run, and that's handy because throughout the run you can kind of, you know, say, say you're a third of the way into the run, you can drink half of it, two-thirds of the way through your run, drink the other half, and then when you come back to the cache, you can have a little bit more at the cache. And that way you're not always drinking just a huge amount, like a liter, every time you come back to the cache. You're kind of spreading it out throughout the day. Makes your stomach a little bit less queasy sometimes, especially when it gets warm. Now these, these uh, seven or eight little bottles I have, this is kind of sufficient when it's really cold on the coast or when it's raining. Uh, once you get planting in warmer weather, you're definitely going to need a lot more water than that. So as it warms up on the coast, I'll bring these plus maybe a couple one liter bottles. In the summer, if I was planting full time, I'd be bringing one or two of the, uh, the bigger jugs, like either a four liter milk jug, uh, or two four liter milk jugs full of water. Or another good option is if you buy one of those, uh, like a cran raspberry, cranberry juice bottle, those hard plastic ones, they're pretty durable. So a couple of those, 3.78 liters each, that gives you quite a bit of fluid to keep you through the day. Okay, so you can see I've managed to keep all of that stuff in my uh, day bag and uh, basically in the morning I'll just bring this, this bag and my planting gear out to the block and I've got just about everything I need. The only thing I can think of um, off the top of my head that's not in here right now that I'd normally have while I was planting is my lunch. So, you know, I'd probably have another one of these containers, a bigger one that's got uh, a bunch of sandwiches and stuff in, in it. But, uh, oh, and one other thing that you could bring Planters should always keep track of their tallies all the time. So if you're planting in wet weather, you don't want to be carrying a pencil and paper out there because you can't write. Um, what you can do is you can get a book, it's called duck back paper or waterproof paper, and a pencil on this paper will work in the rain. So that's pretty handy for a tally book. Keep track of your tallies, enjoy your season. Thanks.